The plant is a global home for climate solutions. Both of these historic sites will be transformed into places where the climate communities from around the world, the organizations that are leading nonprofit youth leaders, grassroots activists, journalists, will all come together under one roof to incubate some of the most edgy climate ideas. When my co-founder and developer, Leela Gorn, and I saw and recognized these two massive properties, the power plant that sits on the iconic Hudson River and the Elder Manor House, which was founded by William Boyce Thompson, just up the road. We knew that we had to restore them and give them a renewed sense of powerful purpose. What more important and poetic purpose could there be than to take these two symbols of what were at the time of a copper baron's former home and a fossil fuel producing power plant combine these together and restore them to then be a place of global home for climate solution. A place where people from around the world can come together and advance and find climate solutions together. So at the power plant, one of our biggest challenges is taking a 100 plus year old building that was built in 1907 and was a producer of coal and a producer of negative emissions to the environment into a sustainable and functional building uh, for the future. From a mechanical engineering perspective, one of our biggest challenges is to figure out how do we supply the energy demand that we want for the building. Most of it will be through traditional renewable source of energy. You have wind, you have solar, you have geothermal, but we're also gonna be trying new technologies that have never been implemented before. This is not a project about taking two iconic buildings and creating a net zero building. This is a project about connecting development with the local community, making sure we tell the stories of climate in a way that is rich, in a way that is real, and making sure that we do justice to our environments and that we have the physical proximity to the people we serve. One of the new technologies that we partner is looking at fusion. Part of the challenge there is to create an environment where the community understands how safe and how efficient um, fusion energy can be. Um, similar to nuclear power plants, um, it's the cleanest energy that we can create. So we think that marrying the goals and the missions of the, of the power plant and bringing in these technologies in the buildings can help educate the public because a fusion power plant is and must be in the future for, for our energy um, production um, moving into 2030 and 2050 and beyond. Yonkers is the fourth largest city in New York with a young and diverse population of about 200,000 people. We are proudly calling ourselves local first in who we hire, in who we partner with, and in who we serve. And it's also important to note that we seek to include Yonkers voices, not just in local matters, but also in the climate movement at large. My vision also is that long term, we have cities, countries all across the world that are taking this example of a built environment that's net zero to actually replicate it at home. And we want to be part of that solution building. Globally, I believe the power plant and the manor will serve as a symbol of its time. This is not just a project about creating iconic buildings. This is a project about connecting with our home. <laughs>